How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Manchester United TV Games Charity. Another season, uh, sorry, another episode. Season 3, we are the first game we get the episode against Swindon away in the Carabao Cup. We've got a fair few rotations in the team, a couple of young players playing. We've got Laird at right back, Bella Coltrap in centre half alongside Bernard. Jordi Alba at left back. Jonathan David up front, uh, this Hannibal fella at centre, attacking mid. Garnasho out on the left. Let's look at the cause problems early on. Oh, he has! What a bit of play from Alejandro Garnasho. I think this is the first game we. I think it's maybe the first game we played with him, unless we had one more. I can't remember. He maybe came off, came off the bench. But it's an early goal for Manchester United. And it comes from Garnacho. Just out of that near post. The keeper should really have that covered, but or a defender should, but it doesn't matter. It's one now. Palestri also starting this game, I forgot about her. And it could be for two, it's Hannibal. Oh it is two! Hannibal, I don't know how to pronounce his surname. He is, Jesus Christ, is he a size that guy? And Palestri with a good ball through. That's a good finish from the young midfielder. And within six minutes, it's within seven minutes, Mejbri? Mejbri? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's an unusual name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Within seven minutes, we are 2 0 up here in Swindon. We do have a few fair high rate players in the starting lineup, but so it's understandable we might come away with this game with like a fair few goals. Dean Henderson, and oh, we've conceded! Holy shit! Ten minutes in, and it is 2 1 Swindon with a goal from absolutely nowhere. Jacob Wakeling. That came, that was a very surprising goal. It came out of absolutely nowhere. And within 10, 11 minutes, we're 2 1. It's only it's only 2 1. Like, how this is even happening, I don't know. Jonathan David looks for Ganacho on the run. Ooh. Ah, oh, Hannibal can't quite get to that. Offside, nearly a break for Swindon there. Eriksson, down to Alba, Garnacho, Hannibal, for Van der Beek, shot is blocked. Ericsson will deliver this one in. Nobody there, but oh my god. I think it was Jonathan David who missed the first header. Jordi Alba finds Palestri. Palestri finds Jonathan David who chips it over the keeper. It's 3 1. The two goal advantage is restored. Man United, back in, back in full control of this game. Swindon maybe going to look for a quick response. Jordi Alba with a taco. Garnacho, Jonathan David now. Hannibal. It's through on goal. It could be four. It is four. And the goals just keep coming. From Manchester United. And I don't think there's any reason for us to play the rest of this match. We're very 22 minutes in and we're comfortably 4 1 up. Oh my god, oh, I'm afraid they'll give me. Ends 5 2. Palestri added a goal 11 or 12, 13 minutes later. And then we conceded one just after half time. Dominated possession. They only had three chances and they scored two goals. Leeds gone through, Luton gone through, and Newcastle gone through to the next round. 
safe to say our game was probably game of the tournament so far. New squad development, we don't need to look at that. Our next game is at Old Trafford against Fulham. We're getting a progress assessment. Investing in youth development. We don't need the youth development, really. Objectives were reasonable. We need to sign one more crucial player with a profit margin of 107.5 million. We want us to finish in a Champions League spot, get a streak of seven games without defeat in home matches. That is absolutely fine. We're about to add to that. Anthony can actually start this game. You know what? I'll give Sancho a wee break. Hopefully this pays off. And let's start the game. Straight into the next match. Four goals in the last three games for Rashford. A similar stat for Timo Werner. Noise, Old Trafford could be about to witness another spectacle of a game. Well, um, tricky customers though. We, could, we might end up struggling at some point. Anthony. Well, um, are not pushovers. We are three seasons in as well, so Christ knows what their team's like. We look at Marias. Let's find Marcus Rashford. Rashford chips the keeper and it's 1 0 already! It's Rashford! Three minutes in! Sends Old Trafford into absolute delirium and the ball from Given Ayesh was amazing and the chip from Rashford was so calm. Chips laying on, no baller. And it's a brilliant, brilliant finish from the Englishman. Seven goals in ten games for him. Goal for Manchester United, number ten, Marcus Rashford. Full on, on the ball now. Coming down the right hand side, or no, left hand side for them. For me, wait, what? It's technically the left hand side, isn't it? Anthony's giving it away. Paulinho. Dallo with the tackle. Anthony. He loses the ball. He's giving it away. Dallo wins it back. Martin Woods gets it away. He's lost the ball once again. Mitrovic offside by the looks of it. Yes, he is. Fulham having a lot of the ball in that last few minutes. The last year. Mm -hmm. Bad with the top is Rashford. It's a late slide from Casemiro. Fulham really getting all over me in terms of possession. Malasia gets a foot in, tackles Rashford. Could set off Timo Werner. And it could be 2-0. It is 2-0. Timo Werner. The two men in form are getting all the goals. And Fulham, who have had all the ball in the last few minutes. Just couldn't do it him way, and now Timo Werner has punished it. He's punished the last of attacking. And it is 2-0 to United. And out. Martinez wipes out his man, it could be a booking, it is. Luckily it's just outside the box. Pereira, former Man United man, standing over it. Whips it into the box. Saved by De Gea. Dello. For Werner, who does win the ball back just about. And he is going forward now, and it could be 3 0. He looks to chip Leno. Oh, Leno with a fake. It looked like he was about to come out. Martinez is playing through Mitrovic. The 
Garcia makes the tackle. More pull attacking from Fulham. Diogo Dalo. This will be Fernandez. He tries it outside of the boot. But it's straight, it's gone straight at Bert Renner. Jimenez, Werner. Plays for Rashford. Rashford. Oh, couldn't get a shot away in Babu with the defence. Jimenez, Casemiro. Anthony. Brilliant ball. Oh, what a finish. The concentration was real there. And Timo Werner with another goal. To his tally for the season. And he is running away with the golden boot race. Casemiro, I think it was, a brilliant ball. Ball? Ball. I think it might have been Bruno Guimaraes, actually. And Timo Werner on his left. Sends Lionel the wrong direction. And finishes it excellently. And it is a 3-0 lead in the 33rd minute. It's another interception in that midfield. And Timo Werner could be in for a hat-trick. Oh! Leno collects it. Bruno. Plays it through for Bruno. And it is 4-0! This is unbelievable from United. Unbelievable. The undefeated season could be on. The league form is just unbelievably good. Bruno Fernandes with a cool finish. Calm as you like. Perfectly into that bottom corner. It's another interception here. Surely we couldn't go for another one. Surely not. Bruno Fernandes again. Fernandes again and it's 5-0. Just five minutes between the third goal and the fifth goal. And it's Bruno Fernandes once again. A pass from Fulham in the midfield intercepted by Anthony. Who then has Bruno Fernandes going forward over the top. And it's two quick goals for Bruno Fernandes. The United fans are absolutely loving this. And Fulham have absolutely crumbled in defence. And within before half time, United are 5 0 up. And Fulham need a special second half. I can't imagine we will be playing the rest of this game, though. We will probably simulate. It's, it's looking like a rare occurrence that we're going to have to play games. Fulham, oh. Pereira nearly setting up a goal. Finish out this first half and then simulate the second. There's no reason for us to play it. Absolutely cruising at Old Trafford. And Babu slides in to block the pass. Ooh, a dangerous pass there. The Dude, he's easily been intercepted. Well, I'm looking to spark their comeback now. Mitrovic could score. Great save, David De Gea. Malasia clears, and that will be the end of the first half. Mitrovic with a golden opportunity there. But it's a great save from David De Gea. A 5 0 already. I can't, I, I, we're going to concede. 6 1 ended. Werner with a hat trick. Rashford with one. Wait, no. Werner, aye, Werner with a hat trick, Bruno Fernandes with two, and then Rashford with one goal. Mitrovic scored in the 66th minute. Unfortunately, throws away the clean sheet, but that's what you have to risk when you simulate the rest of the game. 6 1 win against Fulham. Timo Werner, 10 goals in 7 games. Projected to score 49 goals, and the record is still at 32. Spurs drop points, and we are two points clear at the top of the league. Our next game is away at Villa Park to 11th place, Aston Villa. The 
And what is the Premier League news saying? Forest lose against West Ham. Rashford gets October Player of the Month. Three Man United players up for Player of the Month. Sancho, Werner and Rashford. Rashford, Rashford takes it. And we are now going into a possibly difficult game. The top five looking... The top six is the, uh, the top six in real life, usually. But well, what's classed as the big six? Man United, Spurs, City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal. Arsenal sitting sixth, Chelsea in fifth, Liverpool fourth. Why does it keep Why does it keep doing this to me? We still remain undefeated, as do Man City and Tottenham. All three, the top three teams have not lost a game. City have drawn th five games, though. Spurs have just dropped points for the first time this season. We still are 10 for 10, though. A perfect 10 for Davy Bates so far. Forest now bottom of the league. Bournemouth up to 19th. Fulham down to 18th. Leicester, Brentford, Southampton. All still lingering in that relegation zone. Why does it keep fucking putting me here? Still lingering in that relegation zone. But we turn our attention to Aston Villa. Looks like they're just playing a basic 4 4 2. Is that Ryan Kent? Did we sell? Was it Ryan Kent that we sold to? Did we sell to Villa? Aye, I can't remember. I can't remember if we did sell to Aston Villa. Werner coming off a hat trick in the last game. We'll soon find out as the teams walk out. At Villa Park, Aston Villa hopeful Man United expecting a win. The Man United fans. And the manager will expect a win here. Davy Bates coming up against a former player by the looks of it. And Ryan Kent, he is there. He is starting. He wears the number 35 at Aston Villa. He wore the number 14 at Rangers. He comes up against his former boss. Can he do anything to torment this team? And he's already getting through. Oh, low, the slide taco. And it's 1 0. Oh my god. Out of absolutely nowhere, Villa have the lead. Ryan Kent really at the heart of it, keeping the ball after getting tackled and playing it in. Out of absolutely nothing, uh, nowhere, sorry. Unal puts Aston Villa 1 0 up in the third minute, and it's a shock to the system for Bates and Man United. Rashford tries to be smart, but gets tackled. Bruno Gamarayas. Charging forward now, Anthony. Deep to the box to Rashford. Oh. Unai Emery. His team currently sitting in 11th place. Looking for improvement. United looking to remain undefeated. Looking for 11 straight wins. Werner plays on Anthony, who could be in, he's one on one, and he finishes, gets one back for United, and it is level, that's just how quickly Manchester United and Davy Bates can get back in the game. Fernandez trying desperate to win that ball back. Kent lets it run. Dillett finds Anthony, who could go forward now. He has not got many men. He's got two Aston Villa players chasing him. One now. He's bursting into the box. So 
And it's falling for Werner, who's taking it. I wanted that to go past him and go to Rashford, who was in the middle. But Werner's just snatched it. We've had to react quickly with the shot. And we have scored it. Timo Werner gets another goal. I'm wanting it to go into that space for Rashford. Timo Werner's just nabbed it, selfish Gimp. He's a greedy bastard. I might have come off the defender, actually. It might have come off the defender. Going to be offside, ref, surely. Great tackle from Matthias. Oh, it's a goal kick, really? Okay, that's a bit surprising. Malasia. Werner down to Rashford. Rashford over the top for Malasia. We haven't had a goal with him yet. Oh, saved. Saved all too easily. Right, finds Rashford. Rashford finds Werner. Werner looks up for Anthony. Werner bursts through the middle. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, it really should be 3 1. Kramaric, Ravilla, Dillet tackles him. Fernandez. Dallo finds Anthony. Anthony tries to find Werner. Fernandez, it looks like he's come off the arm. Here come Villa, Ted, Moreno. Kramaric, blocked by Martinez, collected by De Gea. Rashford can't get away from his run on there. Oh, fuck, this is going to be a slow pop again. Fernandez plays through Anthony. Anthony surely away from his man. Scores! All too easy for Anthony in front of goal today. He has two and an assist. And Villa down 3-1 in this first half. Villa Park going silent. The Man United fans keeping the noise up. Oh, he's used the outside of the boot as well. I thought he finessed it, but he's used a different kind of finesse. Outside of the boot, 37th minute. It is 2-1 eh, to United. Dallo nearly collecting it there off of his man. Oh, Ryan Kent. It's an effort. Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. Oh, top of the hair. The cart in goals. Brilliant from Werner, Rafael and Bruno Fernandes. Timo Werner, I oh, scored off the left foot. And it's Man United scoring four goals once again. I'm sure we've scored four goals in just about every game we've played so far this season. Rashford to get away from this man there. And then Timo Werner, I was wanting him to take it on his right. Takes it on the left and it's in off the post. The goalkeeper, absolutely in no man's land. He's got no chance. Or he tries to. He goes to dive and then he just stops. And then he's like, he's, I don't know what he's doing there. But it is 4-1. A second half, once again, not needed to be played. As we have four goals before the end of the half. Dallo is solid. Bit of defending. Anthony. There's no way we could have five, is there? There's no way we could have five. Five at Villa Park. Anthony Hattrick! And it's another goal. Anthony with a hat trick and an assist. 5 1 to Man United. Inside half, the first half. And I don't really know what to say. 
Man United absolutely flying under Bates. There's no way it's going to be six. Surely it's not going to be six. Oh, <laughs> the two fellas there were just not leaving that little gap for me to play it through for Werner. It could have been 6 1 before the break. Aston Villa just crumbling. And it finishes 6 1. Werner scores second late into the. Uh, sorry, early into the second half. And no more goals came from Aston Villa. It's 11 wins on the bounce for Davy Bates. 10 assists in 11 games for Marcus Rashford, as well as 7 goals. 11 wins on our next game. Look at that. The next game is against Manchester City, who I believe also still haven't lost. Spurs lost a game, so they dropped even more points. So me, and it's the only two teams in the league undefeated against each other next. Man City, Man United, it's also a rivalry game. Man City won Ericsson, that's not happening. And it is at Old Trafford. 10 points separate the Manchester clubs. We are obviously looking for a 12th win on the bounce. And in addition to our objectives, this has to be... We need to... Oh, seven games without defeating home matches this season. And the seventh game comes against Manchester City. A difficult, difficult game. But it's going to have to be played. We're going to keep the team as it is. I feel like we don't need to make any changes. Mares, Haaland, Foden, De Bruyne, Brandt, it seems to be, and um, Mbemba seem to be the only signings that they've made. Wait, no, Mbemba, I'm pretty sure he starts off and says, he not like, does he not start out on loan? So they've only signed, like, Julian Brandt, they haven't signed anyone else. Right, anyway, who have we played in this episode? A half against Swindon and a half against, right, so we have time for one more game. Hopefully we don't need to do two halves, but... We'll see how it goes. Another magical performance needed. From Davy Bates' side against a difficult and an incredibly strong Manchester City team. With an early hand, I imagine it's up in the 90s. The Bruyne, who I know is in the 90s. A Phil Foden, I can only imagine, is somewhere near it. Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez in early. That's a goal straight at Ederson. Anthony. Anthony dribbles past his man. Goes to the shot and it's wide. A lot of attacking pressure coming from Man United early in this game. In the first Manchester derby of the career of Davy Bates and the first one of the season. Lassia, I didn't think he was going to keep that. Erling Haaland. The whip went to clearance as far as Rashford. It does come to Bruno Fernandes who takes a lovely touch. Constantly putting the pressure on City. City playing some lovely passing though. Martinez. What? Really? That was a foul? Are you shitting me? Kevin De Bruyne is surely going to have a hit here. Doesn't. Instead they lay it off to Haaland. Who then has a goal but it's saved by De Gea. Just gets it through for Casemiro. Casemiro, Werner. Anthony. Casemiro. No, I didn't want it to go to Anthony. It was meant to go to Dallo. Really nice 
nice pass in and play from Manchester City now. They come forward, Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez gets it into Kevin De Bruyne, gets it into Erling Haaland, saved by De Gea. Oh, and Martinez is crumbled by his keeper. Oh, Delitti, who somebody was just talking about the keeper, and Julian Brandt gives Man City the lead. As Delo even trips over to here, and then just leaves Julian Brandt free in the midfield. In the midfield, sorry, in the middle of the box. And De Gea, I don't know what the fuck he's doing there. Pep, happy. Two goals in 12 games for Julian Brandt, and we are down by a goal. It's taken 23 minutes. City have the lead. Bill Foden. Julian Brandt. Good tackle from I don't know who. Timo Werner. Not been given a lot of options here. Anthony is going to have to make a hood of a spin. He's getting absolutely surrounded by City shirts. And the shot is more like a pass across goal. Cleared away by Laporte. Casemiro out to Anthony. Anthony's pass blocked. Martinez with an absolutely phenomenal tackle, but Haaland is somehow still through the hair with the save. Quickly distributes it from Malasia out to Rashford. United looking for a quick counter. Werner over the top. Rashford, what are you doing, man? This was always going to be a tough game. The lit gets the tackle. Casemiro down to Anthony. Anthony could really do with some support. Out to Rashford. Rashford plays for Timo Werner. Oh, Timo Werner gives it away. Rashford. Malasia. Rashford has a goal. Saved too easily by Ederson. Pass intercepted. United could come forward now. At the top of Timo Werner. Timo Werner who buries it right before half time. It's 1-1. United have a goal back. And are right back in it. Right before half time. The little flick from Anthony is perfect. And then Timo Werner makes no mistake. Grabbing his, I think, 12th or 15th, or back in those 300. Don't know how many goals. 14 games and 14 goals, sorry, in nine games. And the goal. Puts us straight back in it. Has there will be a of one of Can't get the ball forward in time. Casemiro looked absolutely just dazed there. Quick start to the second half needed. Fernandez, Dalo up to Anthony. Anthony tries. It's a good ball, but he just doesn't make the correct run. The AI don't never make the right run. Jesus Christ. Oh, you have to be shitting me. Right, so this is going to be 2-1 to Man City. It's not, it's off the wall though, but De Bruyne has still got it. Saved by De Gea. Corner for City. De Bruyne to Foden. Casemiro. 
over the top, Timo Werner. No, give it to Rashford, he's just standing there waiting. There's somebody tackling me. He plays for four down. He's tackled by Martinez. Brilliant from the centre half. Fernandez plays through Anthony. Curls one and it's miles wide. Just about all the city shirts in the back defending there. Oh, it's nearly a mistake from Ederson. Tackle. United now. Another over the topper. For Timo Werner. Still through. Ref, you have to be kidding me. What for? There's no way that was like a physical foul. You have to be taking the piss. So that was so a tackle. The low turns. Phil Foden and United Anthony now on the ball Fernandez oh. Edison nearly getting caught out there Bruno Fernandez intercepts the pass Anthony Werner it's in United have the lead in the Manchester Derby, and who else but Timo Werner? Bruno Fernandes reading the pass excellently in the midfield. Plays it through for Anthony, who then just can slot in Timo Werner for an open goal. Sancho will come on now against his former team. A bit more pace up front. Just think maybe guaranteed a win. Fifteen goals in nine games for Timo Werner. He's already halfway to the Golden Boot. And he's played about a third of the games. Or no, sorry, he's... Wait, no. Uh-oh. Hold in! That's 2-2. Oh, it was nine. Manchester City. So it could be a first drop points for United unless unless Rashford has just ripped the absolute cut out of Cancelo and he scored! It might have been Jack Grealish who's ripped the piss out of. I don't know who he's done there, but immediate response from Marcus Rashford. And United are back in front. 3-2. What a game. What a game we are seeing at Old Trafford. Who is in that right back position? It is Jack Grealish. I don't know why he's there, but Rashford just takes it around him and then can just curl it past Ederson. What a finish and what a run from Rashford. What a response. City respond to the going 2 1 down with an immediate equaliser. And then just straight from kickoff, basically, from that. Marcus Rashford darts forward and gets a goal for United and it could not be, it might still be more to come for United. Jadon Sancho up against Akanji. Sancho into the middle for Rashford. Foden has collected it. Cancelo. Looks to play through Haaland. Has played through Haaland. Oh, you have got to be joking me. It's been saved and then just dipped over to his feet. Werner looks for Rashford again. Rashford probably our most dangerous player going forward. Oh, could be again. Is he going to win it? Oh. I honestly thought he was going to win it.
Sancho. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, my God, we've just... Oh, Rashford, though. Sancho! Oh, my God. Oh, that is the most aged thing I have ever seen. Go on. Go on. Somebody. Oh, Jesus Christ. How? Oh, my God. And it's dropped points. The win was on, but that aids the equaliser for City. The Highland shot saved by De Gea, and it somehow found its way th its way through. I need to see this. I I don't know how that has gone through. You have got to be kidding me. You have to be joking. Look at that. It's unbelievably saved from David De Gea, but it just conveniently. Hits off him and bounces off Haaland's foot again. And then he's just able to fucking tap it home. And then right at the fucking end of the game here. Rashford plays through Sancho. Sancho. Could I have squared that back? I should be scoring that. You should be scoring that every day of the week. I'm genuinely gutted about that. Like, I'm actually gutted. We should have won that game as well. Oh, the first drop points came at the hand of Manchester City and Pep Guardiola. We're still undefeated, but the objective... Oh. I thought it was seven wins. That's fine. So we get that done. That's absolutely fine. But even still, the, te the 12 wins from 12 dream is gone. City and United both remain undefeated. And the next game to start off the next episode will be away to Burnley. We are still top of the league by three points from Tottenham. And we're still a good amount of points away from Chelsea and Man City. Ten, still ten points clear of Manchester City. But that's going to do it for today's episode. What an end to the episode. A dramatic ending. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next episode.